I just repaired this wall. A car hit it. I'm going to show you how I did it. So the, today the job is to repair this wall that a car hit. So I'm going to just kind of get it back in place the way it was. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to get it back where it was at. Like that. And then we're going to worry about cement the lid. Basically, just want to get it back in place as much as we can. Anything that fell out, right back in there. Real simple, we're not going to make a big project out of it. Break it up here. trying to do is get as much of this in as I could to keep the integrity of the wall. Integrity is a highfalutin word to I mean you want it to look the same as when before you got here. So I'm trying to get everything back that I could and then I'll fill in the spaces. pretty much together. So I'm just filling in all those voids and uh, then the last thing I'll be doing is cementing it. That's all. So here's where I'm at. I got the whole thing put back together and now all I got to do is cement it. I want to point this out. I'm using two sand to one Portland. This whole job was done with Portland. If I used any kind of lime or mortar, it won't hold up in Pennsylvania. And I'm using a fast dry in cement because it's going to rain today for the bottom part. Now today I use hot water. I want to fill in here with this fast dry in cement first. And I'll come back a little later and use the regular cement. You've seen me, this is the fast dry in cement. You see how it's kind of dry already? Now I'm just getting regular Portland cement. That's all I'm doing. Two sand, one Portland. Mortar doesn't hold up in Pennsylvania. I get a lot of flack on that, but hey, it's the way it is. Put this in there. What I'm doing, I'm filling this all in now. Just 
like that. Here's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning it off and with a sponge. And the whole problem with it though is what's going to happen is it's going to turn white and this is going to be black. You see right in here, it's even got moss on it. And uh, I'll answer that question. You know what side of the rock has the most moss on it? The outside, that's right. So what we're doing is uh, the moss is always on the outside. When you know it's starting to rain, it's supposed to rain today. So anyway, we get it all like this, right? Well, the problem is when this dries, it's going to be white, and this is the rest of the joints are going to be dark. So what I did is I got some good mud here from my dad's garden right here you now it is a regular dirt put it in there add a little water put the mud on top of it now if you ever seen uh, Michelangelo out there in in the Sistine Chapel he painted right over the right over the top of the plaster so we're putting mud over it and that there feller was a Genius, J E W Z O N E S. So if he could do it, we're gonna do it. That's what's gonna stain that. So I had it covered all up. It's raining, and tomorrow I will come take the plastic off. I'm back the next day. And there's the dirt I put on. It's just kind of it's been still a little wet. But that's all I do. And that stains that cement so you don't notice it when you're looking up that wall.